Happy Wednesday. We are talking all about some of our favorite products and things that you can put into your stocking stuffers or onto your holiday wish list as we go through various things that we love for the holiday gift guide of 2023. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over. Happy hump day, everyone. It is Wednesday. It is December. It is oh so cold in Chicago. Carson even said, he was like, I hate the cold. I was like, I know, right? <laughs> Marcus has asked us, when can we go sledding again? I want to go sledding again. And I'm like, well, if the snow melts in a couple of days, it's going to be a little bit impossible. And also there's a distinct difference of sledding in like 33 degrees and 21 degrees. Oh, yeah. It was 18 degrees on my car this morning when I was driving to the gym. Mm. It just, it hurts. Like it hurts Mm -hmm. your face. (laughs) I don't like it. You know, I can't wear just leggings. Like I can't wear like my Lululemon leggings because I just, it's, I'm freezing. Yeah. I got some leggings that are kind of fleece lined when I did 75 hard last year. Those are pretty nice, but I usually wear pants over that, like sweatpants over that. Yep. I remember when I was doing 75 hard in my office, I would keep a pair of sweatpants and my weighted vest and extra sweatshirt and I would just put it on and then take it off and put it back on the floor. And I would do that every day. (laughs) I thought about doing it again, but Vince would probably kill me. Yeah. I'm just, I don't have like, I should say, I should never say I don't have time. I just think that about all of the things that we are. Yeah doing and i know that it makes you more productive i do oh a thousand percent it a thousand percent does. a thousand percent more productive yeah. so i don't know i'm just thinking about it let's <laughs> see i really wanted to complete the year this year and then i know things change so i mean i was like over halfway i know we'll see what happens if it's... i can maybe convince my husband to do it with me this time <laughs> <laughs> no chance in my household no chance yeah but that's okay um I like the walking. I do because it's, it's so easy to just like get caught up in work in my day. Yeah. I want a walking pad and I want a different desk so that, cause right now I, in the basement, I have my treadmill and like my little, you know, set up. Yeah. I have a little, I have a little people's box that I put my computer on top of so that it's tall enough for my, but I want like a walking pad and an adjustable desk so that I can easily just you should move it up. You should. But I don't know how, I mean, I don't even think, I'd need to buy a completely new desk. Yeah. You have to put it together. Yeah. And they're not that expensive. Get the one that I got from Wayfair. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Hmm. You can expense it. I know. I know. And I I do want to completely redo my office. Like we have white carpet in our house Hmm. and Nick blames it on the fact that I don't vacuum it enough, but like Jersey- (sighs) will come in and like drag his face along the white carpet everywhere. And I'm like, I feel like it's a combination at least. Like it's not just me. (laughs) (laughs) Or also the fact that you have two children and it's definitely not conducive to white carpet. No, I hate our white carpet in our house. And I really just want to redo the office to be like either hardwood or an area rug, you know? That was the best thing that we ever did. When we moved in here, we pulled out three bedrooms had carpet. It was nasty, but we pulled that out. And so everything's hardwood. And then when we eventually now in March get the stupid dining room table removed, like, I don't know why they built this thing in. And also I've said to my husband, I'm like, why didn't we remove that when we moved in? Like, what were we thinking? Because now we have to like, you know, Mm -hmm. take everything out of the first floor and whatever. It's going to be fine. But I'm a little relieved that we're not doing it right away in December. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Well, then I was like thinking more and more about all the things that we have event wise. And then just like the stress of taking down that Christmas tree and moving (laughs) everything before we're leaving for vacation and coming home to like a house that's like complete disaster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nick wants to reshine the floors in our first floor. We have to move everything. Oh yeah, if you're gonna do it the right way, it's not yeah. honestly. It's not that bad. So for them to sand it and restain it and like shine it, it's really not that bad. I would have somebody do it. Oh no, he bought the stuff to do it. Oh, okay. He wants to do it ourselves. Well, you should also look at how long you guys need to be out of the house. Yeah, we well, need to be out for hours. three days. Oh, ours is multiple hours. Like you have to do it, be out for a few hours at least, and then 
Shining. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. He bought some products, but that's one of his things that he would like to do. But then, like, I, what are you going to do with the kids? Like, someone has to take our kids for a while then, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just all the things. It's See, if it was me, mm-hmm. I would totally compromise. Like, we can do this, but then you're taking me on date day while the kids are at grandma and grandpa's so that I get some fun out of this well, if yeah. I help you. Yeah. I mean, and I think that we need to reread books, like, of what is your love language. Uh. Because yeah. we, I, I know his love language is physical touch. That is like, it's... One he, man's isn't. Well, I know. But like, <laughs> he, he needs that. Like he, at the end of the night, like we need to have at least before we go to bed when we're watching TV, like he needs me to, you know, lay on him or hugs or things like, you know, yeah. that's his. I don't know if I know what my love language is. I really don't. Probably Maybe I words say, of affirmation. If I guess, words of affirmation yeah. is what I would guess. I think that's And I think is. quality time. Yes. Um... Yeah, and I think that the hardest part is that Nick notices a lot of what's not being done versus like what is being done. So mm-hmm. it's like the negative. I'm getting a negative in the column of words of affirmation. <laughs> See, here's what he needs to do. He needs to read the book How to Win Influence and Influence Others, and I believe that he talks about in that book if you come in with, you know, negative um you need the sandwich. Feedback. You need the sandwich because if you come in with negative feedback, that person most likely is going to automatically become defensive or shut down. I know I am that way for four. A thousand sure. percent. I'm not sure how he hasn't picked up on that yet. Don't come at me, bro. Because listen, <laughs> I'm going to find a way to roast you and I'm going to get meaner as the time goes on. He knows it just by my look. Like he'll be like, can can you close the closet? And he, he says it in a way that he's like afraid now because he knows <laughs> I'm going to get mad at him with the comments that he makes. It's just like, I don't know. I mean, do you notice anything that I do do? Because I do a lot. <laughs> no, it's only the dishes that are in the sink or the closet door that's open or, you know, oh my the God. OCD things that my husband notices. But it's fine. That's it's just, you know, it's marriage, man. Like, you can't always be perfect. Marriage is fun. It's... I think you just got to keep it exciting. Like mm-hmm. Art and I were talking because like we just passed our 10 year and like part of us like joking with each other about like, oh, you know what I mean? Like we feel so old. But so he'll be like, how did I survive you? I'm like, listen, how did you survive without me before? Okay. Um, yes. But yeah, there are those little nuanced things where you're like, I know a big thing for me is the dishwasher is right next to the sink. Why can't you put it in there? And I'm like, well, sometimes I'm just running between meetings, but I get it done every night. Oh, I know. Does that like count? It's, yeah, it's just different. Like, you know, Nick actually sent me, and I saw the reel before he sent it to me, but it was golf couple therapy. And so the therapist would explain to the husband how the woman was feeling by explaining like a situation on a golf course. Oh. So the female was like, I just, I feel like you don't listen to me. And the therapist would be like, okay, imagine you're at Pebble Beach, which is like the most famous yeah. golf course, you know, and you hit this amazing drive, you're on 14, you hit this amazing drive and you're on in two and then you four putt and bogey. And the guy's like, that's how you feel? <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, do I need to explain everything to you in this sense? And he's like, yes. I was like, okay. of course, this is, because it, it's very true. Nick is very much so, um, he's not like overly emotional type guy, you know? He's just, that's just not him. So it's harder for him to comprehend yeah. Sometimes how emotional females can be. And I just don't even think I'm like that emotional of a female to begin with. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like I let a lot of things just like roll off my shoulders. Like, okay, we're going to get it done. Like, it's fine. I'm just like not going to stress and worry about the little things and like all the things that are going on in the world. I would say that we differ. I mean, I think male versus female, but we differ a lot in that aspect where I'm like, there's nothing I can do about it. Like, I mean, yeah. we can be prepared. We can practice going to the shooting range but like hmm? to watch the news and get overly like oh that was huh. traveling with my dad this weekend i don't know how people listen to the news oh mm-hmm. my god i was like can i get some headphones <laughs> like he's bouncing back and forth between all the news channels and i'm like i'm just gonna sit here and color my coloring book because it's just enough to make somebody like super anxious and mm-hmm. mad and you know it's just to me pointless there's just so honest. many other things to I would just rather fill my life with good Mm -hmm. because the reality is I'm not going to change any of the stuff that's happening on the news. It's just going to ruin my day and I'm just not here for that. So, um, I don't know people, man, sometimes like, how do you, how do you, how do you live this way, dad? I don't, I I know that's my mom. They just have too much. My mom has too much free time. 
So she just, she, yeah. on Yahoo and like all of the different, you know. I mean, it's good to like get different sources and fact check and, you know, learn and all this stuff. But I just like, that's all you listen to like all day long. Mm-hmm. I would be a loony. Oh, for so, sure. Yeah. So speaking of the holidays, yep. we wanted to bring you guys Every year we do a little bit of like a holiday gift guide situation um, to give you some of our favorite products, favorite things that we enjoy on a daily basis or have found and, you know, use pretty frequently um, just so that you guys can have, you know, some fun ideas for yourself. Because I think a lot of times uh, it it can be very challenging to come up with what you need. Um, I don't know about you, but I just buy shit for myself if I want it. So, um, Oh yeah. Like see something on Amazon. I'm like, yep, get it. Or, you know, Instagram. Oh yeah. I need this. (laughs) I I tell myself I need this. You don't need anything. (laughs) Sit down. I saw a, a little thing yesterday that was like, every day is black Friday when you have a compulsive shopping disorder. (laughs) All right. Well, I will just say one thing about Black Friday and also Cyber Monday. If you pay attention to the sales, you're going to find those deals other times of the year. Um, I just think unless you're about the hype and like I did used to working in retail ruined it for me, right? Like you couldn't pay me to go out and stand in line to save $200, even though I've wasted six hours of my life to save this $200. Like you couldn't pay me to do that and sacrifice sleep and stuff. Cause like back in the day we would go and we would line up outside of Best Buy at like four o'clock on Thanksgiving. And then you no wouldn't chance. even get what you were there for right? because That's- people just are savages and like trampling over each other. And then all of a sudden this $200 off laptop was only quantity of five for each you know store or whatnot. So, um, No, but like I was the Black Friday manager for Target for what, four years. And as the crowd manager and like asset protection manager, like we had police at every store, but it was just still always something like people are just, it was just crazy. So anyways, you just, you couldn't pay me to do it. But now I do understand it is an adrenaline rush and a lot of people enjoy it. So no Mm -hmm. shame to you. If you like waiting in line at Starbucks at 11 o'clock at night for like, two hours that works too, you know, but you can really find a lot of these deals Yeah, many other times of the year. If you're watching for it, like specific, if there's something that you wanted. So I don't like large crowds of people. Oh yeah. Me neither. Especially with all of the things that have been happening with like fights and mm-hmm. shootings and protests and whatever. No, I'm going to be at home with my hot cocoa. I was asleep at eight o'clock on Thanksgiving. I fell asleep I so up, early. I was up later, but we also hosted. So like, I felt like I, yeah. you know, I had to be, but they were watching Oppenheimer. I was it good. Yeah. No, they thought it, it, it was? was really good. Okay. Yeah. Cause I want to see it, but it's also three hours long, which is why I fell asleep. Uh, we started watching mission impossible, the newest one, mm-hmm. and we rented it for like $5 or whatever, but you only get 48 hours to finish it. Yeah. We didn't finish it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we can't finish a three hour movie in two days. <laughs> I mean, you, you might have two kids or something, but we do. We do. Um, okay. Okay. So anyways, let's get this show on the road. So first and foremost, we do have on our website, fitmomlife.com backslash FAV, a lot of our favorites. Um, and there you can actually look at our coupon codes. You can click the link and um, it will take you so that you can get the deals. Um, you know, and, and I would say too, if you're just plugging in our code, sometimes like there will be times that we don't even know that it's a bigger discount mm-hmm. um, just because we have different partnerships. So if we have a code, give it a try. It's usually, you know, 10 to 25% off and it will show you, you know, on our website. But those are going to be kind of our all-time through-the-year staples. So we can run through those, and then we'll give you a few other things that if you were asking for something this Christmas, these would be things I'm asking for. <laughs> and let's start with the aura ring. I really want that rose gold really aura do. ring, but I'm not spending. So on Black Friday, they did give $100 off the rose gold, but the rose gold happens to be $200 more than the black. My black silver one, it's... It's a champ. We're just going to keep going with it because yep. don't need to spend money on it. But yep. you can get $40 off an aura ring, which is great if you are somebody who wants to track your sleep, your stress, your temperature, your fertility, ovulation, your periods, your recovery, your HRV, workouts, all that stuff. And I love it because it's super comfy. It's kind of fashionable and it doesn't die all the time. No, like that's Watch. the one thing that I hated about the Apple Watch was the Apple Watch like... 
I had to charge it every day. And if you want to wear it overnight, you have to charge it at night before you go to bed, basically. And the Aura Ring will last for three to four days yeah. before I've, you have to charge it. I felt like with the Apple Watch, I was wearing like a GPS on my wrist. It was it's so like huge. bulky. Yeah. And I, I didn't mind the Apple Watch. Like I had it for a while. Um, but the Aura Ring, I just really like. I, I find that the temperature is huge. It lets me know like ovulation. And then the one thing that I really need Aura Ring to get on top of is the fact that my luteal phase does not mean that I have way lower recovery because my heart rate changes. Mm. It's just normal. Your heart rate increases slightly in your luteal phase. Are you tracking your period in the app? Mm, in the app? Yeah. The Aura Ring? Uh-huh. Mm-mm. Oh, that's why. If you track your period in there, oh. it will know that where you're at in your cycle. Because like it, it will constantly, like if I miss it, it'll be like, hey, did you, it'll alert me. Like, did you get your cycle? Interesting. Are you pregnant? Okay, no. So then you can like tell it information. Yeah, they've come <sighs> up with some new stuff. I don't, I think we have the same generation. I have the generation three. I got the new, the cool thing about the Aura Ring is when mine stopped charging, they sent me the new one. Yeah. I didn't have the new one and so they sent it can, to me. You can track it then if you have the new one. Yeah. So Aura Ring, absolutely love that for a fitness tracker. For sure. Um, I would think in terms of my day to day, so I'm just going to roll through this in terms of what I use in the day. So hair products and skincare, I really like, um, I use Amika or Wellness. Actually, um, we do have a code for wellness. We'll get it up on the website before this goes live. So just check out, um, fitmomlife.com backslash fave. Uh, wellness has some curly hair shampoo and conditioner, which is really nice. They also have the dry shampoo that Becca has been using and she likes that. Mm -hmm. I like their toothpaste. I do. I've been using their toothpaste. Um, I like Hello toothpaste too. They have a fluoride free one as well. Okay. Um, they get that's one that one's at Target. So think like good stocking stuffers mm -hmm. are the dry shampoo, different types of toothpaste. Um, we're super fun in our house, obviously. Uh, I got a really cool water pick for oh, flossing. I did too, mm -hmm. and I've never used it. I. <laughs> I bought it sitting it's on my counter. The first time I used it, it really threw me with how powerful it was. And I like pulled it out of my mouth and there was just water going everywhere, like hitting me in the face, getting on the mirror. Nick was like, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, it, just, it was even on the soft setting and I just was really thrown off by how powerful it was. But I do enjoy having that um, because believe it or not, flossing can actually be damaging to the gums. It can create like little micro tears in the gums uh, that can cause a blood barrier to be lost um, or opened, I should say, to where bacteria can get into the bloodstream a lot easier. So the mouth and the microbiome within the mouth is a big mm -hmm. transport. Tongue scraping. If mm -hmm. you don't have a tongue scraper, that's also really important and an easy talk, uh, stocking stuffer. Cheap. Yep. Yep. Super cheap on Amazon. Um, if your so, husband's got like some bad breath, something like wonky going on there, just tell him all the benefits of tongue scraping, but then you're going to get the benefit of maybe his breath won't smell as bad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're just helping you guys. My, my husband, relationship this is advice. Nothing. To, like, my husband does not have bad breath. So I'm just yeah, saying, it is Nick. I do know that some females have asked like, you know, certain things that they can maybe start to get their husbands to do. Yeah. Um, and here's the thing, like I actually really enjoy tongue scraping and that sound weird, but I feel cleaner when I do that. So I like to do it first thing in the morning. I will do it at nighttime too, but first thing in the morning after you've gone through a lot of detox processes overnight is mm -hmm. like really the best time to do it. Yep. Um, and then obviously brush your teeth. Ideally, please don't be using fluoride. We can do a podcast on that, but that's not for today's show. Um, from there, I use Frey Skin Care. So I've been doing oil in the morning, my argan oil in the morning for lymphatic massage on my face. And I also bought a facial cupping set. So I can link that in the show notes, but it came with some oil. Um, but I didn't use that cause I like the fray. I know that it's non-toxic. I love their argan oil. Um, so I've been using that and then I do use their other like face care at nighttime. Yeah. I have their vitamin C serum, mm. um, that I really like. It makes me feel so buttery soft. And yeah. then their foaming face wash I love. Um, and their nighttime cream. I use that too. Yeah, they have a bunch of different serums. Mm -hmm. They have a, a, a nighttime restorative one that I give to Art that he really likes. And then I got the Hydrate Me Plus. It's like a rejuvenating mask to wear overnight. And it's like you're saying, it's so buttery. Mm -hmm. Like when I do my nighttime routine and I have even my... Um, this would be something you guys could buy for someone. It's like a very soft... Like you... like head wrap is what I'm going for here. But 
it just makes me think of those reels where it's like how my husband thought I was going to come to bed and like the laundry and how I really come to bed with like my sweatpants tucked into one sock and like the head wrap and the eye mask and (laughs) cream. I legit go to bed looking like a college student and I've been wearing wool socks at night because it's so cold. It's so cold. It is so cold in our house. I yell at Nick all the time. He's like, I don't set the thermometer. I was like, bullshit. You don't set the nest. Who does then? Because I don't. It's like 65 degrees in our house when we get home, which in the wintertime is way too cold. Yeah. So we also have the Uller in our bed. Yeah. So I cranked it up on high the other night and then I woke up like scorching, sweating because it was 115 degrees it gets oh up to. God. And it's I like was like, had my sweatpants on, my wool socks and my sweatshirt. And I'm like stripping in the middle of the night. Like, oh, I felt like I'm having a hot flash. <coughs> but um, that is so funny. If you guys have seen those reels. For sure. My husband is very commonly like, what college are you going to today? Like <laughs> Nick, Nick always goes, you look comfy. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> oh my, oh my God. gosh. Okay. What else do we use? Element. We're actually, uh, well, I'm still drinking my element, my hot chocolate element from earlier. Y'all do not sleep on the chocolate medley. The mint chocolate is by far my favorite. The caramel I have to be in the mood for because it's a little sweet. Yeah. And apparently the ra- I haven't tried the raspberry one. It's not coming out yet, though. I don't think it comes. Or did it, it come out in out. November? Okay. It's out. I, so I'm going to say caramel is my number one. The mint chocolate is my number two. I'm not a fan, to be honest, of the raspberry, like raspberry or chocolate. the chai. The chai, I'm trying to figure it out. I It needs something. I didn't mind the chai. I just don't like raspberry flavored things. I like raspberries. I like chocolate raspberry, but... If you taste it, again, I think it just needs something to like either make it creamier. There's mm-hmm. something on the back end about the raspberry that's just kind of rubbing me the wrong way. I don't know if it's stevia. Yeah. I don't really know. We love elements. Hands down our favorite. You guys can use our link to get a free gift with purchase. My actually sister told me last week that there was like a buy three, get one free mm. two with our link. And she got the free sample pack. I was like, boom, they didn't tell us, but I'm sorry. You know, so you guys can always um, use our link and that's listed in the show notes, but grapefruit, watermelon. Those are my two regular like faves. Yep. I do grapefruit pretty much dominantly. And then watermelon. I like citrus too. And I don't mind the raspberry. Um, you know, what was really good. I think I posted this a while back. I don't buy the orange, but the orange with the hop water blood orange tasted like a mimosa. Mm. Obviously, you're using like a very little, yeah. you know, a small amount. Yep. But like mocktails, I've done that like the grapefruit on the rim of a fancy glass and poured like a sparkling water. Oh, what was I using? Pellegrino, something fancy. Um, it's like 35 calories and it was a mocktail and it was really good. That does sound yummy. Nick you- even did the LM, the chocolate almond tea the other night. Cause really? he's, yeah, he was like, how, how much of this packet do you put in here? I was like, I know you like it. It's so good. It really does taste like hot chocolate. Or it was like gagging. <laughs> <laughs> we were <laughs> driving around. We were like looking at Christmas lights or something. And I brought it with us and he was like, this is disgusting. I'm like, <laughs> I think it's good. I think it's good. Okay. So um, other than that, a um, couple of the things. So belly is a gut friendly, um, food that I actually recently, um, found. And so we do have a 25% off coupon code, but they are no chemicals, preservatives, female founded, very small family business. She actually made these collagen brownies, collagen cookies, and collagen pancakes, which are gluten and grain free because of, um, her struggles and her child's struggles. Um, so it's really cool, uh, in terms of like the ingredients that they use and their Good. So I have had the brownies. Phenomenal. I'm just ordering their cookies because I love to make cookies, you know, with Marcus from time to time. And the ingredients are are really good. So gut friendly. Those are good. Check out um, the show notes again. There's 25% off, which I think is an amazing deal for our yeah. followers. Um, outside of that, I would say I am really, really loving um, for winter time right now, um, my happy light and my beauty earth, beauty by earth, self tanner mousse, because I just feel pale. I just am happier when I'm tanner. Yeah. So I, I honestly, it's probably, you know, and again, use the proper kinds. The beauty by earth is, is a good one. I do it like once a week. 
Yeah. Just because I just, well, I can't right now because I'm a freaking. Yeah. Liz found out that if she does self tanner before she does her laser hair removal, it burns her skin off. I was like, <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I'm glad that the lady asked me. They had mm-hmm. never asked me before. And so I said, oh, yeah, I just did a self tear this morning. She's like, we can't have you come back for two weeks. Like, this can burn. And I was like, what? I've never heard of this before. And I'm actually in maintenance now. So I thought that was really strange, but it's fine. Otherwise, yeah, I think um, doing that like once a week or whatever. But this is one that Emily Morrow actually um, recommended. So I found it. It was on Amazon. It's cheap. I can link that out in the show notes too, or throw it on our website as well. But the happy light, I've actually had several people reach out about the happy light to put on their Christmas list. Mm -hmm. So it's depending upon which one you get anywhere between like 30 and $40. I don't just use it in the morning. Sometime when I'm just working in my office and now it's like gloomy outside, I'll put that on because it's the 10,000 Lux light. And I feel like it helps me get out of that like funk. Like Mm -hmm. Sunday when we drove home from the Dells, it was super gloomy. It was snowing the whole way. I just felt like the whole day was dragging, you know, a a good day to like be home and chill and watch movies and stuff. But the happy light, it makes me happier. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So in terms of books, laundry, we got to talk about laundry. Oh, we forgot the Topanga sense. I even, and I'll be honest, Nick doesn't mention stuff. He's like, I actually really like how my laundry smells. Good. And so Topanga Sense is an amazing laundry detergent. They also have like house cleaning supplies, stuff like that, hand soaps. Um, I basically just do, I'll, I'll do like a two pack on the laundry detergents. Mm-hmm. Um, the Calabasas Breeze and the Malibu Pier, mm-hmm. I think are the two main ones that I do. Um, yeah, They smell so good. And like I'll use uh, maybe occasionally a dryer sheet, but in general I don't use a dryer sheet because I just don't want to take away the smell of the... Yeah. And it holds the smell too. Cause I've had people ask, well, like how long does this, you know, smell last? The cool thing about this company is one, they're very clean Two, their small business, mm-hmm. um, which I love. And you can mix it with like, I do the free and clear from Costco yeah. so that you can, for example, when I'm doing my sheets and my towels, I put more like four ounces of it in there, but just my regular laundry, I do like two to three ounces. I just eyeball it to be honest, but roughly two to three ounces. And if it's not strong enough, I have the fabric sprays that I've bought to help with that. But I love it. I I want my laundry to smell good. And I agree with you. The Malibu Pier, the Calabasas Breeze are really good. I really like the Grove. That's seasonal. It'll be back soon. That's my multi-purpose cleaner that I've been using. And it makes my bathroom smell good Mm -hmm. versus, I don't know. I'm just, I know that like the vinegar solutions and all that stuff are more natural and non-toxic, whatever, but also... This is a non-toxic product and it actually smells good. And it doesn't smell like I just threw vinegar all over my walls in the bathroom. So I'm really liking that. Natural deodorant. I just can't. I'm I'm sorry, guys. I can't do it. The only one that I am found that works well for me, I believe it's called. I've done the native. I just have to reapply it like four times a day. Yeah. And I, I don't know, just doesn't. I, so I, I cannot give advice on natural deodorants. Cause a lot of people try to find one. I've had some like actually irritate me. I have had that too. Primarily pure. They're expensive, but they're the only ones that I have found that I like. And the, I think it's the citrus vanilla that I like, okay. um, because I did order two and yeah, I'm looking at their website right now. I mean, it's $16, which I just think is crazy. It's insane. Like the native ones are $13 at target. They're just getting more expensive too. That's mm-hmm. the problem is all this stuff. And I get it. I mean, like inflation and products and Well, even supplies. the toxic deodorants are like eight, nine dollars yeah, now. I know. It's insane. It's wild. So. Okay. I do want to talk about um, a couple other things. So Therisage, this mm-hmm. is an ozone um, bubbler. So there's a couple of products that I like from Therisage. So they have an ozone oxygenation um, bubbler. Becca has one too. Yep. And so I will like fill up my sink or I'll fill like a, a big bowl and I'll put like fruits, vegetables in there and it will within about 10 or 15 minutes sanitize all your fruits and vegetables from like removing pesticides, dirt, mold, parasites, all kinds of things. Um, so I do like that. Now, when you're doing this, you might notice that your vegetables and fruits like 
go bad a little bit faster. Well, the reason is you're stripping it of all of the pesticides and Mm -hmm. the appeal spray that we probably don't even know is really on everything, even if it doesn't have a sticker. So you do want to, you know, use your stuff a little bit faster within, you know, a few days. I also got the um, portable red light pad from them. Really like that. My husband's been using that. um, And it's it's actually working really good for um, his scalp. He's not having like the dry flaky scalp that he was having before. Um, and we talked about this before, just changing his shampoos to different ones that have certain pH balance and um, some of the products. So like the CT minerals that he sprayed on there. So if you guys struggle with this or you know somebody who struggles with it, um, the red light therapy can be great for a lot of things. Um, just your skin. Also, if you are somebody who is dealing with like an injury or you've had surgery recently, like placing red light over those areas can help with scarring and also just the tissues and repairing things. And then castor oil packs. So I know that Becca doesn't love them or they don't love her. They don't love me. They don't love her. I think something around genetic, but either way, I I just can't. can't, My body cannot tolerate them. So I love the liver pack because I wear it to bed and that is like the only time. And I was so disappointed because I wanted to do a reel about this and my oral ring was dead, of course. Because for a little while I was waking up one or two times a night and I was like, what's going on? Like, why am I waking up? Am I detoxing something? Like I can fall back asleep. But also our son has been, he's such a creep. So he comes, love you, Marcus. When I'm old and you listen to this podcast, you probably won't. So it doesn't matter. But (laughs) last night, you know, you wake up and you just like sense someone's like standing there. Yes. So I think he's like sleepwalking and doesn't really realize, but he stands in our doorway. Well, it freaks me out. So like I get startled. <laughs> Art like jumps out of bed and then he like starts crying. Cause he's like, what? So, you know, we just like walk him back to his room, but we've talked about like, what do we do? Like, do we lock his door? We can't lock him in his room. Like that's rude. But also like he's starting to have like something's going on where he's like coming and standing at the doorway at least once, if not twice a night. That is so crazy. It's so weird. Carson wakes us up multiple times throughout the week because his nightlight turns off. Oh, so we just got a new night machine because he was doing that too. Like I'm his like, like star projector thing was going off. I'm like, just, you have a remote. You ha- you, just pu- push the button, Carson. Right you don't have to come wake me up to tell me to turn it back on well, for you. So even better that he's coming to wake you up though, because Marcus will stand in his room and scream. So last night I tucked him back in and then he's like, mom. I'm like, what? And he leans up and he wants to give me a kiss. So I'm like, oh, thank you, buddy. But also, like, let's not wake up. So anyways, um, but the, the back to the castor oil. So the liver pack, I'll do a, a reel on this eventually to show how much it's helped my sleep. If I wear that, I sleep like a baby. Mm-hmm. It pulls you into parasympathetic. So the other things, purity coffee, mold-free organic coffee. If you guys are somebody who struggles with like heartburn reflex, just love coffee, but don't feel like it loves you, or you just want a good, clean coffee. We've got that linked on our website too, 20% off. Keto Mojo, we use this a lot with our clients to track blood sugar and ketones in certain seasons. So we have a deal there and then needed, which is pregnancy safe um, supplements. And otherwise we were going to list a few books. Yep. We love books. And I will say Liz discovered this app called Headway, which gives you 15 minute basically summaries of books. So if you are like we are, which I will totally say that I am guilty of buying many, many books and reading like a third to two thirds of them and then stopping. Um, (laughs) Because one, I'm just like, I feel like this book just continues to say the same things over and over again. Um, That app summarizes books, which is really cool. And it gives kind of like highlight PDFs and stuff like that. 15, 20 minutes. Like there were some quotes today that I was like writing down during my workout. And then on the way home, I was like, Oh cool. If I click on the chapter, it also gives you like everything written in text. That's awesome. So if you want to copy or clip something, yeah, yeah, that was really cool. Um, so that's a really cool app. Uh, it is a buy, it, like, it is a paid app, but I think that'd be worth it. Um, some of our favorites, you've probably heard us talk about them before the life changing magic of not giving a fuck. And that is how to stop spending time you don't have with people you don't like (laughs) doing things you don't want to do. Um, For those people pleasers out there, uh, You're a Badass is a great book. Atomic Habits is probably my top three 
all time. I love that book. It's so powerful. Uh, Emily Frisella has a relationships first book, which is really, really good. Um, I really love Rachel Hollis's books. Uh, mm-hmm. She has multiples. Girl, Wash Your Face is probably my favorite one. Um, she's entertaining. It's funny, but it's also really motivational. Um, Mel Robbins' Five Second Rule is a great book. Uh, I like David Goggins and Tim Grover's books. They're both very good motivational series books. Um, kind of that tough love. If you like that, I will say David Goggins has been through a lot of shit and some of his books can be a little bit hard to read. They're like really intense at certain points, but, um, books I think are always a great gift. Uh, timeless, timeless gift. I love holding a book. So probably why I buy so many. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I'm actually just looking at my, because I'm going to read off some others here. And I bought the hard copy and I downloaded it on Audible. And I haven't <laughs> touched either one of them yet. So I'm going to do that this week. Mm-hmm. Um, a few others. The Four Agreements is really good. More like mindset. Um, burnout is another one. Salt, fat, acid, heat. Like for those of you who love to cook and things like that, the body keeps score. So this is all about like trauma, central nervous system, how it can impact chronic health conditions. This is Your Brain on Birth Control by Sarah Hill. That's a really good one. If you're somebody who wants to conceive, real food for pregnancy is good. I also really like This Naked Mind by Annie Grace. We had her on the podcast. Um, And then looking at just some other more gut health driven or just health things, uh, eat to beat depression and anxiety, nutrient power, metabolical. Oh, metabolical is such a good book. It's such a good book. And then um, The Good Gut. And the last one that I would say here that I have not delved into, but I'm going to is how to do the work. And this is all about the autonomic nervous system, central nervous system, and, you know, releasing some of the things that maybe have happened to you in your past and doing some of the tough work. So hopefully you guys like that list and maybe put a few of them on your Christmas wish list or stocking stuffers. Books are easy stocking stuffers too. Yeah, no, for sure. I, uh, I also like, you know, I think exercise bands or, you know, little workout gadgets are always great. Uh, asking for like extra pair of dumbbells or things that you might not want to buy, but need to add to your home gym. I always like workout. I mean, then then workout gear, you can never go wrong. I know. I mean like the CRZ yoga, I have loved, loved Mm. their workout pants. Um, even though neither one of us need more, I always need more yoga pants. Don't talk to me like that. (laughs) I was like, Becca got rid of this huge thing of clothes and I'm like, I feel like my legging drawer didn't move much, but I got rid of like 12 pairs of leggings and she's like, I want more Lululemon. I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> I'm glad to, to know that we're on the same page here. But anyways, with that, we'll wrap this up. We hope that you guys have a fantastic Wednesday. Reach out if you have any questions, if there's something that we missed here um, or missed putting in the show notes, you can always shoot us a message. If you're not following us, you should be on Instagram at the poop queen and at the hormone queen. Hormone queen.